Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to adjust the volume on our headphones for a second. And actually, I gotta shorten my my connector. I'm gonna have to fix that. Anyway, uh, yeah, welcome, guys. Um, so this is a special episode. You want to know why? Because it is the 100th episode of this series. It has been a long time since I have uh, had a hundred episodes in a series. Um, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think the last time I had over a hundred episodes was in Alpha 17, uh, Vanilla Alpha 17, uh, Seven Days to Die when it came out. Um, and I don't know off the top of my head if I've done any other series in any other game for that matter uh, with that many episodes. So that's cool. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, I still have a lot more to do too. We're not we're not done with this uh, this series um, by any stretch of the imagination. So, anyway, I hope you guys are still enjoying uh, the series because uh, I sure am. Um, we still have you know stuff to do. Uh, we got to get the Deshong fixed up, um, among other things. And well, that's that's kind of our our biggest overriding goal. Um, and I don't know, do some more exploring and stuff like that too. Uh, you know, on the map once we get. Um, air flight and that sort of thing. So yeah, welcome to episode 100, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start this episode off by um, doing a couple things here in the base, uh, and then we're going to do some mining, some resource gathering. This is going to kind of just be a bit of a do a bunch of different things episode. <laughs> uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get um, the lockpick schematic made, and I believe we do now have enough stuff to do that. Uh, so let's go to lockpick and let's uh, research this. Fantastic. Okay. And then now that we're uh, able to do that, we can now retire the bobby pins. Um, these aren't used for anything other than just crafting bobby pins. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep them, of course. So we will put them in here. I am having some space issues primarily with this chest here this chest is completely full so we're gonna have to do another um, sales session to free up some space because I've had to kind of start to overflow some of the weapons and stuff into here oh uh, the other thing I wanted to do too is I wanted to consider doing this pump shotgun because here's the thing um, Papa that's the name of our shotgun Papa um, this does Papa does 177.3 base damage this guy has 200.6 base damage. That is a significant increase in damage, even though, you know, it doesn't have, it's not an auto shotgun. So, um, I'm thinking that let's switch over to the pump for a bit and, um, and just give it a try. And let's also repair it too. So that's probably going to want, uh, oh, that makes... That needs titanium plating. Okay, no problem. We got lots of that too. Um, so let's get this modified. And yeah, we'll keep the, the choke on it. The rad remover, the retracting stock is good. And we actually have room for one more mod too that we could put on here, which I think I would like to be the tube mod if I can make it. I don't remember if we ever learned that or not. We didn't. Crap. All right, what do we need to research the tube mod? Here is our lockpick uh, schematic, so we can now make lockpicks, which is a beautiful thing. Okay, so for the shotgun tube mod, we need... Uh, wait a minute. How come it's not telling me what the blueprint is for it? Hold on a sec. Where's the ballistics table? I think it's right here. Oh, we need... To, okay, we need to find volume six. I see. Okay, so so we can't make the blueprint for that. We have, we have to find volume six. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. So let's go into here. And what else could we put on this shotgun just to beef it up a little bit more? Uh, we could put a weapon flashlight on it. Not because I really care about the flashlight itself, but it will increase the damage. Um, we already have the choke on it, so I don't want to put a duck bill on it. Though I do like the duck bill, too. 
Just looking at what other mods we have here that we could possibly put on there. Oh! We already have the mod. We must... Okay, we... <laughs> <laughs> we must have looted that somewhere a long, long time ago. Uh, all right. Well, that there you go. There you go. Fantastic. Okay. So that gives us 11 rounds in the chamber. And it gives us a total damage now of, <clears throat> excuse me, 244 damage. Beautiful. That's some serious damage, man. That is some serious damage. Okay, so we will um, we'll put Papa away for now. Um, if that's Papa, this is this this is well, actually, this must be Granddaddy <laughs> because it's even more powerful. I was gonna call it Junior, but it doesn't make sense because it's a higher quality and it does more damage, even though it doesn't have you know the capacity and the fire rate as Papa does. Fantastic. All right, so what is the fire rate on this? Okay, it's not too bad. It's it's not quite as fast as the auto shotgun. The auto shotgun's gonna be more bang, 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 whereas this is bang, 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 on a gong, something like that. Anyway, okay. Um why? Oh, never mind. We're good. Okay, so we got that taken care of. What is what do we need to make lockpicks? Probably need to uh, do that in the workbench, I'm thinking. Lock pick, yes. Oh, it's steel plating, that's it? Oh, nice. Okay, well, we have 14. Let's make, um, can we make six? Wrap it in Blacksmith's Forge. Oh, 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 okay. In here. Let's make six more of these, and then that way we'll have an even 20. There we go. Okay. That takes care of that. We are still waiting for um, another nail gun before we can upgrade this to Tier 3. And once this is upgraded to Tier 3, I think all of our workstations are fully upgraded. This only goes up to Tier uh, 2 itself. All right. Next thing I want to do is I want to make some food. So let's just um, put some wood in here, and we'll make the best foods that we can shepherd pie spaghetti uh i don't want to make steak and potatoes because it takes mushrooms and we can we can make a crucible what why why is that showing up there um that's weird Okay, so we can't make the gumbo now because we spent the beef on probably the shepherd's pie instead, or maybe... Okay, hold on. No, it was the spaghetti. Okay. I th think... I don't remember which one of these is better. Let's make one of each and compare them. Oh, that's using mushrooms, too. We got to do something about mushrooms. You know, I, I did mention in the last episode that I wasn't planning on doing a garden anytime soon, but actually growing... Doing that to grow mushrooms would be a good uh, reason to actually get a garden going. Now, we're not going to do that in this episode, but it might become a higher priority than I had originally planned. Okay, so we'll wait for this spaghetti to finish, and then we'll, we'll compare the two and see what the differences are, because I don't remember off the top of my noggin uh, what those differences are. Oh, you know what else I want to do, too? I want to go out and cut some trees to get... Uh, honey, because we, we 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 learned the thingamadoodle for getting honey from trees. Uh, so let's grab our chainsaw, and let's also get the chainsaw repaired. And we will take that out along with some gasoline. Looks like I need to. I've got a bunch of parcels in here. Looks like I'm going to need to um, make some more gas here pretty quick. So we'll grab those. All right. So what's the difference between these two? The spaghetti has more food and more health, but less water. I think I'd prefer the spaghetti uh, because we can drink water for water, right? Okay. So yeah, we will make the turn the rest of these into 
spagnetti. And um, we can make some fish tacos too. How many of those can we make? Four? Let's make four fish tacos. Yeah, so again, for the purpose of growing mushrooms, maybe we should just throw some crop plots up on the on the roof. I have six. I said we weren't going to do that in this episode, but now that I think about it, it's not going to take that long, right? Um, f for mushroom seeds, we have eight. And I'm trying... Do we have to have... I don't think we have to have a water source in this mod, right, for the farms. We, you do in Darkness Falls and Ravenhurst. I don't think this mod requires water. Unless I'm mistaken about that, which it could be. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll let that finish. Okay, let's go up to the roof and um, throw these plots down and, th and put the mushroom seeds inside of them. I actually haven't even been up on the roof since we took over the building. Hi, roof. There are some resources up here, too, that I could definitely salvage. Um, but this whole area here, of course, is going to be repaired. So this this might be a good spot for us to do the garden. But for the meantime, uh, maybe I'll just line them up over, over here for now. Yeah, so let's do that. Potatoes and carrots I need, uh, not carrots, uh, corn I need a lot of too, but those you can typically buy from the the traders uh, or, you know, get them from fields. Mushrooms are a bit rarer. Uh, what does it take to make crop plots? Or no, I guess they're called farm plots in this game, aren't they? Farm plot. Just that stuff, and we make them in the artisan's table. Let's go, let's make two more, because I have two more mushroom seeds. Do -do 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 -do. Hope you guys are all having a good day. I'm having a good day. It's Friday. Friday, September the 23rd. Thank God it's Friday. All right, let's grab those, and we'll turn that off. These can be put in here. And yeah, look at all that delicious food. Let's throw those in there for now. And uh, looks like we're still sporting sham chowder for our carrying food. We'll put the uh, ravioli stuff back in there. I have some ravioli for for dinner. Um, Costco. In, if you guys shop at Costco, you probably know this, but... If you go to the deli section, you know, they'll have like a lot of um, kind of pre-made dishes that you just kind of throw in the oven. And they have like macaroni and cheese. They got ravioli. They got ribs. They got all kinds of good stuff. Uh, so I went to Costco yesterday afternoon to get some some food because my wife is actually still gone until October the 4th. So I'm still bacheloring it. And I was out of food. Uh, so I just went to Costco and got a bunch of easy stuff to eat. And... I got a big dish of bolognese ravioli or something like that. And uh, I think I'm going to have that for dinner tonight. That sounds good. Um, okay, so anyway, we are here to make crop plots. We need the artisan's table for that, which is way the heck over here. Um, can I move that closer somewhere? I, this, you know, I've mentioned this many times before to you guys, but this is a temporary setup up here. Um, I, I just want to, I want to get that, at least that corner of the building structurally fixed, maybe not decorated, but structurally fixed first. And then maybe what I might do on this side of the building is I might, you know, rather than build it from, you know, the, that floor up, I might just put in enough supports to get the top floor done. Um, so that I can fix up our our living floor first, and then you know go back later and, and fix up the bottom floor, the floors below it. Um, so I'm, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Anyway, um, let's see if we can move this a little closer, so I don't have to pull that crap out of the uh, the storage. So let's pick this guy up. Uh, 
Uh, I just I need to put it someplace where I can still kind of maneuver. It's gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt putting it there. Um, it just really isn't a, a good spot for it, is there? I'm gonna put it there because I can still get to the workbench and the blacksmith station. Yeah, let's put it there. So we should be able to make two. Oh, 38. Wow. Okay, no, we don't need that. We just... Well, actually, hold on. Let's think about this for a second. We could... Actually, we have... We could plant some potatoes. Um, potatoes and corn really are the main things. The other stuff is not that big a deal. So we could... So that means we would need to make 25... 26. We need to make a total of 27 plots. And I can pick those up again later and move them over to the permanent spot. We're going to go get wood today. Um, the rest... Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Let's just do it. Let's do it to it, man. Okay, that'll take two minutes to finish, and then we'll just go plant all that stuff up there. I don't have any skills in farming, um, so we just... We just get like one, it's a one-to-one -one thing, but at least we're taking these seeds that are just sitting there doing nothing and at least turning them into produce for us. Uh, so when you harvest it, you only get one piece, but it, then it regrows, you know, for, for next time. Says the guy who said, no, we're not going to be doing any farming in this episode. Well, I reserve the right to, to change my mind. Old guy's prerogative, right? Old guy's prerogative. Okay, so let's see. While we're waiting for that, is there anything else we could be doing up here? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Okay, well, in that case, let's just... Here, let me put this in here and those in there. Uh, we could actually look at making some mineral water. Do I have all the stuff for that? The thing that's going to be tricky on the mineral water is the chrysanthemum and goldenrod. That's fresh water. Oh, yeah, I'm super low on that stuff, so... <clears throat> I mean, I could plant that, too, but I'd rather plant the actual food vegetables, because this stuff you can just go out and gather in the forest. Yeah, okay. Well, what about you? No, that needs chrysanthemum, too. It was a nice idea, but until we can stock up on those things... Yeah. Let's put that back in there for now. Oh. I have three more of these. Oh, crap. Okay. So... There we go. That gives us our 27 right there. Look at that. That worked out pretty good. We'll put this back in here and this back in here. And I think that goes in there. Maybe that goes in there. I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Uh, we don't need the fat in our inventory, too. That should go in here, I think. Okay, so everything else we have are the seeds. So let's head back on up to the roof. This is the, uh, I'm not doing a farm in this episode episode. That's what this is. Not doing a farm. That's what we're going to entitle this episode. We're not doing a farm. Okay. So let's just put these over to here. And we can also go there with them. And maybe... Uh, I'm not super concerned about the arrangement of them now because this is temporary. Whoa. Why don't we get rid of this crap here? Okay, nice. Let's get the other two shrimadoodles in here. And then we're going to plant uh, spuds. And corn. Uh, excuse me, Roberta. You're in the way. Here, come over here. Uh, 
Okay. I'm not really too worried about what's going where right now. Let's just plant it. Beautiful. All right, we got crops growing. Fantastic. Uh, do we have any points to spend? We might actually have points to spend. We have two points to spend. Look at me and my bad point forgetting self. Um, what do we want to put these in? I think I've been working on perception, if I remember. It's been such a long time since I've done points. Um, so yeah, I believe perception was what we were working on. We got penetrator, uh, lucky looter. I don't care about treasure hunter. Living off the land. Yeah, see, this, harvest two eyes from, you know what? Let's take one point in this right now. This is so worthless, man. Farm plots, plots cost 25% less to craft. I mean, I guess it would be useful in the early game, but for now, it's like, it's so stupid. This is the one you really want. Harvest three items from wild or planted crops. Farm plots cost 50% less to craft. Um, I think I'm going to just... Well, what does this require? That requires perception level five. We need perception level five anyways, so let's go ahead and get level five because we need it for some of this other stuff. And then I'll probably just bite the bullet and get that all the way up to three, and then, then we'll, we'll actually be able to farm uh, more effectively. Okay, but now at least we can get two, uh, two pieces of, of produce uh, from each plot. So there you go. All right, that worked out pretty good. We're doing... We're doing great in this, uh, this is not a farming episode, episode. Okay. So we got that done. What were we going to do? We were going to go, oh, we're going to go cut trees for honey. That's what we're going to do next. And we need, we need to mine a whole mess of stone too. So that's on the agenda. I'll probably do most of that off camera. We might do a little bit of that on camera though. We'll see. Okay, so we got gasoline, we got the chainsaw. I think we're good to go. How are we doing on food and drink? We're, you know what we're gonna do? We're going to have a gumbo. Hmm. Eh, nah, that that's kind of a waste. We shouldn't have a gumbo stew right now. Why don't we have? Let's have a fish taco. That'll get us nice and topped off uh, for food, and then for beverage, we'll just throw back a red tea. And we're good to go, man. We are good to go. Okay, let's go cut a bunch of trees, get a bunch of honey. And then we will bring that stuff back to the base. And then we're going to go down into the mine and, and do a little bit of mining. Uh, why am I going down the ladder instead of jumping off onto this? I don't know. Why do I do the things I do sometimes? I don't know. Can't tell you. It's just the... Who can know the mind of old guy? Not even old guy knows the mind of old guy. All right, so for the honey, do we have to be cutting down like a living tree or can does it work on the dead trees? I don't remember. We do have all these trees here we could cut down and just replant. Yeah, why don't we do that? That way we don't have to go so far. Me likey that idea. We're probably gonna attract a screamer. Now, let's make sure everybody's loaded. We got steel crossbow bolts. We got those from the trader uh, in the last episode. Okay, everybody's loaded, so we are prepared in case bad things happen. All right, let's see how much honey we can get. Didn't get any honey from that. All right, I'm going to take and put this here. So we can just replant it. There we go. We got something that time. We're getting some uh, wood cutting skill too, which is, which is a good thing. Um, oh, I'm heavy. Okay, hey, Roberta, come here. Got something for you. Can you carry all that? And all that, and all that, and all that. Yep, she can. We'll, we'll hang on to the honey. Um, there's... 
Why don't we grab these chrysanthemums too? Oh, and we get two, right, nice. Even better. I'm not really too worried about... I mean, originally I was going to kind of really spiff this area up because we were living here, but now that we've moved, I'm not so sure that I'll do that. I'll, I'll keep planting the trees more for the purpose of harvesting them than making things look nice. Guess I can hit it from here. Did that plant? Yes, it did. Now we're heavy again. Man, doesn't Great take... Great to see you, Master. Doesn't take long, does it? Oh, yeah, that overloads her. Um, can you take half of these? Yeah, okay. Here, come over here, Roberta. Let's offload into the motorcycle. It is a pleasure to serve. All right, we'll put all these in the bike. So far, only one honeycomb, man. That sucks. <laughs> we might have to go hit some stumps, too. Is there any other way to produce honey in this mod? I don't think so. Not that I'm aware of, anyways. I know some of the mods let you make a beehive. Well, actually, here. Let's search for beehive instead of honey. Nope. Okay. What about hive? Nope. Okay. Plant these guys. Um, Roberta, I'm heavy Ready again. For duty. You take that. We got an extra seed that we can throw in there. Okay, so that takes care of these trees. Let's grab a couple more of the chrysanthemums while we're over here. Sometimes this bird nest, bird's nest repops, but I, I think I actually harvested it not too long ago. Or looted it or whatever. Harvest looted. Here's another one. What about those trees? Will those give us honey or even the dead ones? It gives us charcoal. Let's go this way. This is actually that underground area that I wanted to uh, explore a little bit. Maybe we'll get enough goldenrod and chrysanthemum together to make some, some mineral water. Okay, so that takes care of that. Let's let's go down here and look around a little bit. Like I said, this is just kind of the do whatever episode. <laughs> We're doing all kinds of different things. All right, so they broke they've broken down into here. Oh, there's loot in here. Uh, looks like we can get to it from out this way. Look at that. Mo power. Oh, nice. Okay, power sliding blast gate. Armor. Oh, nice. Roberta, we found some armor for you. Um, do I give a shit about this? Yeah, let's learn. What the heck? 
And I do want to learn that, because we might put it to use at some point. Okay, that was pretty nice find, man. That's a beer barrel. I don't really like beer in this game unless you have read the book where it removes the side effects. We will definitely grab uh, this concrete or cement. And we might as well grab this. Okay, so we went back through here. All right, where does this go? Nice, we got a bandage. So this is just going back up and out. Somewhere in, in this vicinity, these guys have torn the shit out of the place because they had to get uh, to it down into my mind. Oh, that just goes back out there. Okay. There's nothing there. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, they've definitely torn a bunch of stuff out around here. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so this is where they were trying to get at me down in the mine. Interesting. Okay, so we have, uh, looks like there's a bunch of iron, or that even could be um, titanium, too. Or, or lead, I'm sorry, or titanium. Okay, I'm not going to actually jump down there because we don't really need to for any reason. Uh, but it is interesting to see that that's where they were trying to get to us. All right, now how the hell do I get out of here? Just like that. Okay, cool. Um, So what we're going to do is we're going to go... Let's go back to the base and drop off all this wood and then we're gonna run into the forest and and go after more because I have no honey whatsoever in terms of you know for and in fact enemy. oh shit I don't have any antibiotics at all actually I mean nothing not even the pills nice Why am I going into this house? I think it's because I saw this and I figured I'd come and get it. Might as well loot this stuff since we're looting. Anything up there? Nope. Not enough clearance for there, there to be anything up there. Uh, okay. So yeah, let's head on back uh, to the base and drop off all this stuff, and then we're going to head into the forest to go after more honey, because I'd like to have a, you know, two or three jars of honey on me before we really do anything else real crazy. So if we got an infection right now, I'd have no way to fix it. Since we're here, though, let's grab these. Okay, so we have we actually we have quite a bit of firewood in here. Um So why don't we what should we do with all this wood? Fuel bricks? Could make fuel bricks. Got so much stuff. Yeah, let's let's make some fuel bricks with the the scrap. Um how much firewood could we make? 378. Let's make it another 100 firewood. 
And then I think I'm just going to turn the rest of this into, into planks. Okay. Nice. Because we're going to come back with even more wood. Now, you... How may I assist you? Let's... No, let's do this. Let's go... Actually, I think I have to pick I will you. defrag my hard drives while in storage. You do that. Okay. Let's put this on. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Okay, so medic kit morale. What does this do for me again? Stand regen re bleep, regeneration is increased by 10% when near the drone with this mod installed. I mean, I don't run out of stamina anymore. I, on, a, on a rare occasion, I do, but... On the other hand, though, Roberto Net doesn't really take any damage. Okay, it just reduces damage and degradation by 50%. Oh, it would help, though, with her, um, you know, durability, though, too. Um, I don't really want to give this one up, though. I haven't had enough of a su supply. Well, actually, we should give those to her. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do this only because Roberta takes very little damage, I've noticed. I mean... I know she's at How half. Great to see you, Master. I know she's at half right now, but I have never in the entire time that I've had her repaired her, you know, so that's been a long time. Uh, so I think what I'll do for now is let's just put this in here. Um, yeah, we'll just put that in there. Maybe we'll find an upgraded version of Roberta in the future with more mod slots or something. Okay, so let's see. We got the wood taken care of. Yeah, so let's head on out to the forest and cut some more trees and see if we can get enough honey comb to make, um, I'd say at an at, at absolute minimum, two jars of honey. How much do we need? I think it's, th is it three? Whoops. Oh, and it, oh, it's five. Crap, we have to have five. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna we need to come back with a minimum of ten honeycombs. Honeycombs. Well, hold on a sec. Oh, we have four. Okay, so we need to come back with a minimum of six, and preferably more than that, so we can make make more. Okay. Um, let's also while we're at it, I want to grab the jackhammer and the Valkyrie. I can find it. Where in the heck's my Valkyrie drill? It should be in here. Do, 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 do. It's not in there. It should... It, it's in there. It's not supposed to be in there, but that's where it is. Okay. Now, let's go over to you and put you in there and to repair. You're actually in pretty good shape. I... I I'm going to, on the way back, after I let you guys go, I'm going to get some stone, too. So that's why I'm loading up on some of this extra stuff here. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Uh, except for let's eat a fish taco. Oh, we have enough stuff now to make some mineral water, too. So let's get some of that going whilst we're away. Oh, crap. We need to make fresh water first. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll just let that cook, and I'll take care of it when I get back.
Well, I was seeing stumps uh, quite uh, quite a bit for a while there, and now I just haven't been able to find them anywhere. So I've probably passed a few, but they can be hard to see. But anyways, guys, I think it's time for us to wrap up this episode. So what, uh, how much honey did we get? Okay, we have 18, so we're good. That's enough to make, with what we have back at the base, enough to make four uh, jars of honey. Uh, but I think what I might do is hit a couple more trees also. Um, see if we can get a little bit more honey and some more wood. And um, go from there. But I'm going to let you guys go here. I'm also planning on uh, picking up some uh, some stone too while I'm out and about. Which of course I will do off camera. And then uh, in the next episode we... Oh, there's a stump right there. In the next episode we will... Um, I don't know what we'll do. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Not sure what we'll do in the next episode. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. That is it. Uh, I guess I did. You know what? I think I did. We do a quest here once. I don't know. Uh, obviously, I've been here, though, because I have looted that mailbox. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go here. And, yeah, we'll figure something out in the next episode, as always. And I hope you guys enjoyed our 100th episode. Yay. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.